everyone and welcome to tonight's episode of hurry up i'm hungry right okay special request tonight is to make uh fettuccine carbonara but without cream right so what do we need for this well small bowl large bowl reason for the large bowl will become obvious later um, first thing we're going to do is uh, fill up a pot with water I use filter water because it's a little bit better. No chlorine taste. Okay, well that's enough. So we're gonna put that on the on the stove top here to uh, to boil. It's cooking there. Put a lid on that so it cooks faster. It'll boil faster with a with a lid on. Okay, so we need the water. Back to what we need, we need uh, fettuccine, of course. Uh, San Remo gluten-free. This is excellent pasta, even if you're not a celiac, but not a sponsor. Three eggs. You need some Parmesan cheese, fresh, of course. Some pecorino. You can't use all Parmesan uh, because it's a little bit salty. Uh, pecorino is also quite salty, but generally the two, so about an 80-20 mix. And uh, the protein we're using in this case, we buy big blocks of uh, spec and I backpack those and freeze them. So I've just uh, thawed that out uh, tonight. Uh, so we're ready to go there. Of course, you can use bacon, uh, and traditionally the recipe does call for guanciale. Okay. So, what do we need to do first? Okay. First thing we're going to do is grab a cutting board and a sharp knife and I'm going to just prep the spec. Okay, so what I do with the uh, what I do with the spec first is I cut the I cut the stick rind off. Try to just get the rind. And that's going to become obvious what we'll use that for in a minute. So I'm going to need uh, this saucepan here and uh, also it helps if you have a stopwatch. I have my stopwatch there. Okay, so I'll split this up into the really fatty part. And I do, I just do that because I add that in so it allows that to, uh, to get it in first to, to cook down a little bit. This is a very sharp knife and I'm trying to not lose a finger. Again, cutting this into uh, small cubes is uh, generally what we're trying to do here. But you can cut it however you want, but you'll get more flavour out of it this way. And just to be clear, I don't have a food dream. I just like to cook uh, fairly quick meals for dinner. Okay, so that's uh, that's our protein prepped. Our water's boiling. We're gonna, we're gonna take that and uh, I'm gonna move on to uh, the second phase. Okay, so let's see. So we're gonna take this bowl. to open up our uh, I might just use a pair of scissors so I don't lose a finger. Gee, because they're suddenly not, not sharp, are they? Sharpen them up either way. Okay, so we're gonna get our 
pecorino out. And I, oops, sorry for shaking you up there, folks. Okay. Now I have a tool that helps doing this. And I don't know what the chunks, but Go to those in a minute. What I have is one of these microplane. Now you can use a normal grater, but a normal grater, very nice. A normal grater will slice things obviously a little bit bigger than a microplane. And as a future step, you're going to. Uh, You're going to want it fine because it basically because we don't have cream we're going to use the eggs and cheese to make our sauce now i just dropped a, a chunk in there again so i'm going to keep grating and we'll come back in just a second Okay, so that's that's about it for the pecorino. You can see how much we've got there. Um, now we're going to put our parmesan in there, and I do keep a little bit of extra parmesan uh, for uh, just um, microplaning over the top of the dish once it's cooked. Now a mixture of cheeses gives you a, a really nice flavour. Now, obviously, I'm not giving you any real measurements here apart from the quantity of eggs. So. See there, that's roughly 50 50, I suppose. We'll keep that hanging around. So, you see what we've got there? Mmm, cheese. Okay, terrible to me, isn't it? Okay, where are we at? Our water's uh, not boiling yet, but it's getting close. Um, just while I think about that, we don't need salt in there because obviously. We're going to uh, have a lot of the speck, which is quite salty. So that water looks like it's getting close. So what I'm going to do is heat this up now on a low heat, and I'm just going to leave that the rind of the speck in there, and that's going to turn that into a nice bit of oil to help us cook uh, the remainder of our speck. So we need knife and fork. Oh, sorry, spoon and fork. Uh, depending on what the wife wants there. So, where are we at now? So, okay, so I just make a bit of a hole in there. And I'm going to put my eggs into the middle of the juice. Right, so, keep the shells for the worms in the compost farm. So, like that. So, the recipe actually calls for one egg, but uh, we like it a little bit creamier. Uh, so we put um, three eggs in. And then uh, you put in some pepper, some brown pepper, actually. I like the full pepper. Uh, spice cabinet. Okay, I like the, uh, this full pepper here. So it's it's pepper. Plenty of pepper, no salt. You don't require salt. I think I've said that already, um, purely because there's so much salt in the in the end. And you just um, break it up. Just whip up your eggs. Now the reason I'm doing it in the big bowl, this is going to be the bowl that I'm going to have my dinner in. Okay, and it's not that I'm pinching all the sauce. Right. Um, basically, I am combining the cheese and the eggs together here to make the sauce. Okay. And I've got 
plenty of time because the water hasn't boiled. Oh, the water's boiling. That's good. Okay. So I can come back and get this and continue to get the beer. So let's, uh, let's get our packet of uh, pasta and we will take the lid off. There we go, carefully. Put that back on in a second. Okay, and what I do is take enough pasta for, in this case, for two. Oops. Enough pasta for two, which is probably about... I don't have one of those spoons that have the, you know, the hole in the bottom of them. One of those pasta spoons. Uh, sort of this, this sort of thing, but they, they come with a circle in them and it's the right measurement for uh, one serve. Okay, so I'll put that in. Um, I've got a saucepan that's about the right size for that. And what I'm going to do is, you get a sudden drop in temperature there, so the... Uh, I'm going to put the lid back on, and that's going to bring the water back up to the boil pretty quickly. Uh, you can see I'm starting to get a little bit of uh, fat coming out of that rind. I'm going to amp that up, and I'm going to start my stopwatch. I'm going to need 8 to 10 minutes, depending on what you prefer for that pasta. Um, and this consistency, it looks like, you know, looks like it's curdled really, but it's not. It's just, you know, it's just the fact it's uh, grated cheese and eggs, right? And because they're all cold, they haven't melted. So I'm not sure how we're doing for time. Uh, because we don't want to overcook this, so that's why we haven't added that. And uh, it takes. Uh, I hope the camera is basically seeing this. Put that out a little bit so we can see the cooking process. See there, it's quite uh, breaking the fat down a little bit. So what I'm going to do now. Is. I'm going to add the, uh, the fattier portion of the speck to also break down. Uh, and we did, uh, we did that, turn that over, but we really don't want this side, we want the other side. So I inadvertently flipped that, maybe, maybe stress. Okay, so I can turn that heat down. It doesn't have to be on a super high heat. And you can see that, that once again, that's boiling because I, very quickly because I put the lid back on. So I'm now gonna turn that over and break that up a little bit. Don't want it to cook together too long, otherwise it'll stick. And it's, uh, it's well and truly on its way now. It's been cooked. And we'll continue to monster that for the next 10 minutes. Okay. Now this was a special request from someone who's uh, lactose intolerant. I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take that out now. Okay, I'm just gonna put that on the cutting board. Uh, and uh, you can uh, cook that off, give it to your dog or whatever. That's so I used to give it to my dog. Okay, so we're basically ready here. Oh one more thing we need we need a colander in the sink ready to go. So we've got a colander in there. All we need now is we need this and then to cook. I'm starting to get quite a bit of fat out of that. If you want to make this with bacon, you can. And to be honest, I've never made it with speck because I, oh, sorry, I've never made it with guanciale because I haven't been able to find any around where I live. Uh, but I'm still looking. Uh, but you can make it with just bacon, but speck gives it just that little bit extra flavour. It's uh, it's really quite uh, quite flavourful. 
we're three and a half minutes into our pasta. We'll give that a bit more of a stir. The tummies are rumbling. Right. So people are getting anxious for the dinner. That's good, that should be fine in there. So it will stick to itself. We're getting a lot of oil in here, you'll notice, and a lot of people are health conscious, won't like health won't like that extra oil even if it is bacon fat. I'm going to show you how to deal with that in a minute. A tip I saw on a cooking show somewhere, I can't remember where actually. Okay, we're about four minutes in now. Uh, stopwatch here, yeah, just over four minutes. So now I'm going to add in, I'm going to add in the rest of the uh, spec. Flavor. Okay. Get it to, it's all mixed in now with frying away. So I haven't got that on a super high heat because whoa, I haven't got that on a super high heat because I'm uh, I just want it to cook slowly. I don't want it to burn. Okay, so our, this is definitely ready. It's all mixed in nicely. So this is going to be sitting here, waiting for the uh, the assembly portion of this video. My spoon in there. So that's all, all ready to go. So now it's just a matter of time. We're waiting five and a half minutes in. So I'm going to just watch this, let it cook slowly, and we'll be back at around about the ten minute mark. I think it's nearly six minutes so we'll be back in a sec. It's only been a second for you but it's been about three or four minutes for me. We're coming up on nine minutes. Um, I'd say that our pasta is almost right. Our speck has been cooking away here. Now what you could do with the speck if you've got a lot of oil, this has turned out to not have too much, is you grab, uh, you grab a clean sheet of kitchen towel you move your speck to one side like that okay. and you put your paper towel your clean paper towel into the into the bowl into the pipe end here and you just absorb that extra oil so that's what you need to do it's quite often, depending on the piece you use, you can end up with quite a lot of oil. Okay, so now that's almost ready. This has been in there long enough. I'm going to crank the heat up on this. you see why in a second. And I'm going to turn the heat off on my pasta. I'm going to grab... Um, I should use a couple of bits of paper towel, I guess. I'll grab a... Uh, grab another hand towel. Don't want to get burnt. I'm going to take this over to the sink. Pour it into the colander. Pasta there. Now you can hear that's crackling over there. It's upset because there's water in the colander. Very close now, folks. Okay, we've got the temperature coming up there. We're 11 minutes on the clock there. Reset back because we don't need that anymore. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to take it straight to my bowl and throw it in. And I'm going to start mixing it in. Now the heat from the pasta and the uh, speck is going to cook the eggs and what we're going to have in a few seconds is we're going to have a yummy thick creamy cabanara sauce made without cream and uh, that's it it's beautiful now you can add uh, this is the deal you see yeah. So that's there. 
Is it ready yet? Yep, it is. There you go. The way the steel works is I make one bowl and the wife works out how much she wants. Boy, that ended quickly. Well, um, the GoPro ran out of batteries before, but that gave us a chance to eat uh, to eat dinner. Thanks for uh, coming along for the cook with me. I hope you enjoy that if you try to make it. I've tried to make it as quick and as simple as possible. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Let me know why you didn't enjoy it. And uh, I'll try and improve if I do more of these cooking videos uh, for requests I've had from people for some of the dishes I, uh, I do. Uh, this has been Ron. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Oh. Hurry up. I'm hungry. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and also the bell so that you'll get notified about future videos. Remember, I don't have a food dream. I just dream about food.